Hello and welcome. In this video, we're going to talk about how to clear your browsing history from uh, Safari browser. Now, if you launch the Safari browser here, and if you go to history, that is your most recent history right here. And maybe it's a web page that uh, is not allowed for you to go there, or maybe it's some sensitive information about a client, for example, Working from Spectrum, nobody was allowed going to YouTube, even though uh, YouTube has a lot of tutorials, especially with the electronics. And, uh, you know, they said no, they were block actively blocking all YouTube links. Uh, so again, if you are into a customer's information page and, you know, you just want to make sure that nobody has access to it at the end of uh, your shift, you just want to make sure that arrays, even though nobody would be able to log into your account, but you know, you get the idea. There could be different scenarios where you want uh, your history uh, for to be deleted, gone. Now, <clears throat> the easiest way to go about is clear history. If you go here, click here, you, just like uh, uh, Google Chrome or Firefox, you get the options which Hist kind of history you want to be removed well was the web page within um, accessed within the last hour it was to earlier today today and yesterday a couple of days or all history so not as brief as uh, google chrome but you get the idea you can select whichever you want and then hit clear history and that will be gone i'm not doing it uh, but i i'm going to give you the reason why i had to go through is that you can see here too many request edx so what was happening is as soon as i was uh, at the edx website it was automatically trying to log me in while i wanted to uh, try another password because but because the password was already saved it was trying to connect automatically with the older password and it will uh, you know uh, too many requests and it will block me from logging in again so this is one such scenario where you have to go delete your history make sure everything is erased before you can go access the page and are able to log um, enter your password to log in <clears throat> the other way uh, if you are uh, researching something you're or you don't want anything to be saved in history for any reason the uh, there is another option that is uh, safari file and new private window now i want to i wanted to open another one i should not have new window i'm going to show you a different side by side if i can you can see this one is the private and this one is the uh, let me actually let's do the other way around let's make this one down here now this one is the regular safari browser window on the top this one which will save all of your history whatever you search whatever page you will visit it will be in for you to easier access and i love that feature for most of the time when i'm researching and i read something in what one web page but it's not exactly what i wanted i go back to another page third page fourth page fifth page until it hit me that i need that piece of information as well in the first page and when you go back uh, go back to search it you you're not finding it so in history you can actually go and click on that link get to that web page and get that information now if you for some reason for any reason you don't want uh, your browser to keep in history of where you've been uh, you can again go to file and the new private window this will open safari in a private mode you can see private browsing enabled seen here the other giveaway is that this search bar or address bar is all clear white this one is a bit grayer so that's the one now whatever you search or you are you visit it will not be logged into your uh, search history all right so let's close this here and wrap this video here if this video has helped you please rate comment subscribe and share and i see you in the next one